Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I am taking you with me as I straighten my hair. So, as you can see, right now I'm in the process of blow drying it. I have that one section left to do. The other part of my hair that's braided up, I already blow dried and just have to the side. So this little section right here is all I have left to do to blow dry. And I'm going to be using the Bumble and Bumble um, heat protectant and that hair serum by Palmer's. So that Bumble and Bumble heat protectant I actually got in like a Sephora birthday gift thing. So I never purchased it. <laughs> and I am the type that I straighten my hair usually like once a year this is the first time I've done it more than that so honestly if these products suck I wouldn't know because I don't straighten my hair enough to tell a difference <laughs> so I'm not here to recommend products okay but first and foremost I'm doing the tension method I've never done this before when blow drying my hair but it's just kind of like pulling your hair to like stretch it basically and I heard the reason you do this is to help get your roots straighter um, so that process of the tension method can really help with that and then I will go ahead and do kind of more of a blowout style um, but I'm just using my bristle brush I'm not using like a rounded brush mainly because I don't have one but also because we're still going to straighten it so it doesn't really matter but just taking my bristle brush and I am then going to blow dry my hair and just follow along and really try to focus in on getting my hair as straight as I can with the blow dryer so we don't have to do as much with the straightener and this um, blow dryer it's travel size that's why it looks so small but I think I got this from like a boxy charm uh, subscription box that I had like a long time ago <laughs> um, so I just kept it I don't use heat that often and stuff like that um, and I mean it works pretty well uh, it came with a diffuser attachment so that's nice um, it just doesn't have a cool setting that's probably my only complaint with this but I mean it's cute and I don't use it that often so it's fine it's all I need this is what my hair looks like when it is blow dry and then for straightening I have had this uh, nano titanium pro babyless straightener for probably like 10 12 years at this point <laughs> i've had it for quite a while but i'm gonna put it at the highest setting at 450 and i'm gonna use this cheese serum and i'm gonna go ahead and spray that heat perfected in again and then add that serum to my hair and then i'm gonna separate my hair into four sections i did this same sections when i was blow drying my hair but i'm gonna take it tiny tiny section and I'm gonna do the chase method so I have a rack tilt comb in this video and I'm going to um, just pass through my roots a couple of times and then do a pass while following the rat tail comb one time and then I'll go back mid length and just do it one last time now in this video I used a rat tail comb but I just recently re-straightened my hair again <laughs> for graduation and this time I used the same bristle brush I used for um, blow drying my hair and I have to say I like the results more from using a bristle brush which is surprising because I didn't think like that would make much of a difference but I don't know I just like the feel of it better I have sometimes a hard time to really make sure my hair looks sleek and silky and stuff and I feel like the bristle brush really helped with that so I would recommend using a bristle brush instead of a rat tail comb so I don't know that's up to you but I did notice a difference and I did enjoy it more I've only recently been doing a middle part more, so this is just me doing a slight curl for my front pieces, which I was very impressed with that little piece, <laughs> which is why I made that face. But 
yeah, I'm still trying to get used to the middle part. I don't know if I look that great with it, but <laughs> I am just going to add some more of that hair polish to my hair. I just like the feel of it, and it smells just like coconut. If you don't like coconut, don't get this product, but I like coconut. So I like to put it in my hair after I straightened it because it helps get rid of that straightening um, hair smell, you know, just a little bit. And I just want my hair to smell like coconuts, so why not? But yeah, this is the final look. This is the first time I'm straightening my hair since dyeing it red. And I have to say, I really, really like it. Let me know down below how you feel. But that's it for this video guys thank you so much for watching happy vlogmas like and subscribe and i will see you tomorrow bye